gets free. He scores. Pinged it in off the pipe. Oh, the young man from Peterborough, Ontario, continues to impress his second of the day. Everybody, Jamie Monroe here from Jam3 Sports. Now let's chat a little bit about Ethan Walker, the Peterborough, Ontario product. Tackman at the University of Denver is a lefty sniper who's a lot more athletic than I think people give him credit for and really um, has a pretty complete game, even though he's known primarily as a shooter, finisher, and feeder. Let's take a look. One of the things that Canadians do so well is they cut the middle. And right here, the short stick had gotten rotated on to Walker. And the shorty takes a little bit too low of a, a positional uh, approach. And Walker cuts the middle and shoots it with a jump shot. Now, Canadians aren't known for being jump shooters. Um, but this guy's got so many different shots in this arsenal. And I'd be interested to know why he chose that. Because um, I think jump shot's a great shot. But it's really interesting. And maybe it helps him retain a little bit of angle, freezes the goalie a little bit, and um, certainly allows him to hammer the ball into the top right. Every time this kid shoots, he's painting a picture, telling a story to the goalie. And here, he's shooting a teeter-totter. He's holding the goalie up while he's shooting the ball five-hole. And you can see the goalie stick is like guessing in the wrong direction until it's too late and the ball's five hole. It's so important not to look where you shoot and to sell opposite. And that's exactly what Walker does on all of his shots. Right here, you're gonna see him with his low to low shot. It's funny, because when you listen to TV, they'll say like, you know, you have to change levels. But if you're a deceptive shooter, you can shoot low to low shots. You can out quick the goalie on this low to low shot, but you still have to tell a story to the goalie. And the story has to be that you're shooting it high. You have to hold the goalie up with your posture and maybe a little bit of a chest raise. Playing so much box lacrosse, he's just a master at the one more. And I think that this is like if there's one thing to say about why you should play box and why your teams, if your coach should play box, is because this one more pass across the crease is one of the only ways you can score in box lacrosse because the goalies are so big. And so being able to have your head up and make quick decisions and find the backside one-timer is huge. Here on the man up, you're going to see him feed the slip on the, on the uh, carry throwback. And um, the way he puts the ball exactly in the right spot at the right time is, is a thing of beauty. And here you're going to see the same play run a couple games later. And you're going to see him looking off. Marquette is looking to play that slip. And he looks off the backside and carries a little bit, and sees the man he wants open, looks it off the whole way. Uh, very deceptive player, very smart player. Not known as athletic. I can tell you right now, Ethan Walker's got burst. Um, I think he's been a little banged up, so sometimes he doesn't dodge quite as often as other times, and he's developed a, a right hand. And um, when Canadians start developing right hands, you know, it gets a little bit scary. I just love the way he catches and, and hitches. It's so smooth. And what I call this, it's a really subtle, but it's kind of a bring your stick back hitch. Okay, so some hitches are taught with bringing your stick forward. He catches and just brings it back subtly. And watch the defender swing. It's all he's got. Bring it back hitch is classic way of the hitch. Here, I love this. This, this little creep up is out of the family of the double threat position. He knows he's going to want to shoot here. They're playing him soft, and he's approaching with a dodging posture. So his man is holding his ground, getting ready to drop step, and then all of a sudden he knows he's got a screen, and 
he pulls the trigger and steps really quickly into his triple threat position. But I really believe that this dodging posture of the double threat is one of the more undertaught and important parts of the game that a lot of box players use. Here is another example of the low to low shot. Watch how he holds the goalie up. You see how the goalie's stick is staying up? That's because Walker is painting a picture for him. He's telling him a story that he's going high, and then he goes five hole with it before the goalie can get his legs closed or get his stick down. A simple little lift of his chest will hold the goalie up while he's able to out quick the goalie low. If you overplay Walker to his left, he'll stick his body into you right here, retaining enough angle for his right hand to be able to squeak it through. He goes low on a lot of his shots, but I could see him popping a leaner too when they start making that guess. Popping a leaner in this situation, stick your body in, retain your angle, put your head down and pop a short side leaner high, would be a pretty sick shot. And I bet you you'll see that out of him one of these days. Again, getting overplayed to the top side, really subtle and pretty cool play here, okay? So they're running a little bit of a pairs. The defender's overplaying him. He goes underneath hard and takes an angle that makes his defender feel, all right, he's not going straight to the goal. Like last time, he stuck his body right in there to retain angle. This time, he puts his – he heads down as if he's looking to feed, and then he sticks his right foot in the ground and takes a sharp cut that does initiate contact. And watch the, how he puts his right foot in the ground, and watch how there's the subtle hesitation to it right there. See how he changed the cadence of his gait slightly right there? And it allows him to get that step, to take, take the body, and have angle to shoot. Ethan Walker's got skill, but with all of these players, it's their repertoire of skills and their recognition of how to set them up and how to use them that truly makes them great. Hey, thanks for watching our video. If you liked it, please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you want more free content, click the links below. There's tons of great stuff.